Hello and welcome back to Gold Squadron Podcast, live here at the Lone Star Open in Allen, Texas. I'm William Hegwood filling in for Dion. I got a co-commentator this round. You might have heard of him. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, this is Duncan Howard. Not good enough to make the cut, but I'm still here on the final table. There you I go. made the cut. Didn't make the final, but I'm here anyway. Uh, got any notable second edition credentials? For those uh, uh, who haven't been... Uh, I won the last U.S. Uh, tourna official tournament in Texas a year and a half ago. That was the system open? Yeah, it was the system open. And then we had the pandemic. You're required to bet against each other. The winner keeps both. Uh, bet on standing. Ah, <laughs> no! You can't do that to me. You should be faster. You're betting on Andrew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you, you actually take standing in this matchup? I, I believe. He's your podcaster, so I knew. I knew you'd pick him. Um, yeah, so, uh, background about Ryan, uh, he has yet to win a major tournament. Really? He's got, like, store champs underneath of his... I thought he won a regional. He was telling me the other day I thought he won a regional with, uh, Ghost Fen back in 1.0. Did he flew Ghost Do we count Fen? that? Is that asterisk? I don't think no. that counts. Okay. I think he was telling me the other day I think he's won a regional. Really? Okay. And I think he's won Crossroads. Oh, not officially. No, right? he didn't. He never won no. crossroads. He was a bridesmaid in crossroads. He was a bridesmaid. Okay, yeah, yeah. all right. Um, but he's hungry. Hungry. He's hungry. For he that is big laser win. focused. I played Secret Hitler with him yesterday. Man mm -hmm. has a stone face. Okay. <laughs> he's a professional right he's, uh, personality. So yeah. Um, I think that equates to a professional liar as well. But, and he's got to prove to his kid, his future kid. He's got a future December, kid. That's true. That he named after the world champion. Don't let him tell you any differently. Is it Paul? Is it really Paul? No, Ollie. I don't know. Maybe. Who's the world champion? <laughs> Do we even have one anymore? I don't know. Anyway. Um, Anyways. But uh, the bets are live. Uh, we are going to do uh, a breakdown here. Um, these guys aren't going to engage for a little bit, so we got time to talk about. we got a little bit of time. All right. You want to run over the lists? Yeah. I got um, uh, the Jedi's up here. I'll on the screen, Dead and I has been super popular in Extended and Hyperspace. And uh, they have the fine tune controls, so you'll see them spending that force charge to boost and barrel roll after executing a maneuver. Also, they have the 7B title that's going to give them a 3 2 3 3 stat line, mm. um, which has just been the default three attack dice ace. Like, arcs are, aren't really. Uh, what do I want to say? Maneuverable enough mm -hmm. uh, to pull off a lot of matches. Turns out double reposition is good at all initiatives. Yeah, exactly. Right? Uh, don't can't you don't see arcs doing that every round. So mm -hmm. um, they have been, like I said, very popular ever since they have gone down under 50 points. They're at 49 right now with that uh, configuration. So it's really easy to fit four of them. Um, and we see majority of the time three and then a 50 plus point ship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and Ryan has chosen, because we got three of those, uh, he has gone with Shock T, uh, mm -hmm. which is my favorite kind of ship, which is a support ace. Mm, yes. Uh, where Shock T is able to spend her force um, in the start of the end phase to be able to hold tokens. Uh, for herself and uh, ships up to range zero to two. Um, and with two force charges, you can actually hold on to two mm -hmm. different force tokens. Um, and you actually, so uh, Shakti is at the start of the end phase, much mm -hmm. like Gamut. Mm -hmm. uh, so you spend a force and you recharge it at the end of the end phase. So it's almost always beneficial to use one. Yeah. Uh, oh, so yeah, because there's, there's essentially no downside. There's essentially, the no, there is no downside. Unless you're using the intuitive controls. Uh, which would be a uh, purple. He's interrupting you anyway. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Thanks for all your help, Tim. Bye, Tim. Miss you. Uh, so, yeah, unless you're using the uh, purple bear rolls or the purple boost um, or using the purple talon roll, um, you can just fly around at the beginning of the game. Uh, and uh, hold on to whatever token you want. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. We see Ryan. Well, let me let me break down that. Also has patience, so you can get a lot of force back. Mm -hmm. If you have to do two of them, you can get a force back and keep yourself at full. Yeah, it turns great. out when you hold an evade token, move, take an evade action, 
and then patience, so you have two force, you're pretty tanky. It's pretty tanky. Turns out, <laughs> turns pretty, out big orange, tanky. purple, and green numbers are good. Yeah, very true, very true. Uh, then and I-4 to, is a great place to be as well in this I meta. I-4 is a great place. It's fantastic. I agree. Uh, for, for once in, I think, the first time in X-Wing, mid-tier is I relevant. I have been asking for this forever. I love some of the mid-range pilots. like Even some of the ones we're seeing now, mm -hmm. like Tell. I would love to see Gideon. We saw Joy, Joy was cool. I think those are so cool. I don't like how we got here, where people went to three for discipline spam, mm -hmm. and people went to four to get above that. Right. I don't like how we got there, but we got there <laughs> nonetheless. What so. I mean, what, like, like I was saying, like, when was the last time anybody would bump up to the higher initiative mm -hmm. to get a talent slot, though? Yeah, right? it's not very common. Um, I I have some ideas about disciplined and like some just the things in general. I, I think we've the talked only about before, the only thing I can think of is maybe like fearless fangs. You want the skulls instead of the zealots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But other than that, but doesn't joy cost the same as a skull? Joy is the skull. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's the so unique like why skull. not bring her? But you do have to bring uh, some fork. upgrades. Yeah. So that's how they work around that. Unless you I just mean, want to bring joy for fun, she could trigger other ships' cutthroat just because she's named exactly. instead of a skull. Pretty so cool. there's benefits. There's benefits. Um, Shock T's also rocking that tractor beam. Uh, which just gives her, because of the bullseye three dice, and then the front arc two dice, mm -hmm. gives her a lot of options to be able to uh, roll more. And also with patience, it's pretty sad to just roll one attack dice range two shot at something. So at least you can roll two with Tractor Beam. Mm -hmm. um, and then also pulling a ship into range one of a Jedi. You can make those Jedi punch. Yeah. Into arcs. Um, well... Clear let's all get, those cards let's get rid of, of this while we see. Um, another thing to note is the new tractor rule, uh, where the ship that you are tractoring, if you move it, it can take a stress to rotate 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not seen it yet this tournament, but it is something to keep note of. Um, other things we should uh, look at on this uh, match are the fact that the drones do not have landing threats. So if you tract one under a rock, it does not ignore it. Um, Stanny has chosen to pass initiative, so he moves after Grievous. Grievous is a really good arc dodger and flanker, but Shock T might. Uh, Keep him off that. Um, let's see. Another big thing is Danny brought the three biggest rocks. Of course, he's so he can, got tractor. So he can find two controls off of them. I uh, I don't know right. if he's done it, but the option is there. Um, Stanny has done a wonderful job about figuring out Zam these last couple of games. I, I watched his last match, and it turns out if you don't look at Zam, yeah, she doesn't do anything. Don't look at her. Don't look at it. <laughs> it's like one of those uh, ghosted Mario or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, the boos. Big boo. Or like Medusa. <laughs> just like don't look at her. Yeah, just close your eyes. Don't look at that her. That would be an awesome paint job if someone could like, you know, turn turn Zam into Medusa or something like that. So I'm going to take this logo off for just a second. Yeah, because I wanted to confirm. So he, on the blue Jedi, did do the purple evade, mm -hmm. and he's utilizing... I think the purple evade has been held. He did it on the first turn where there's right. no consequences. He just regen that force and has been just holding on to it the whole time. Yeah, super, super useful. And be, uh, you could do that to two of the Jedi. You yeah. saw in an earlier match where they held on to focus mm -hmm. tokens, uh, but you can roll in. Um, with but the that base. does take two force, and you only regen one a turn unless you're patient. So you don't want to do patience. it until you're about to get into combat. Yeah, so he's just yeah holding on to the one. I'll throw mm -hmm. this back mm -hmm. up for now. But uh, yeah, like I said, man, these uh, it was what um, it was like last hyperspace season or something. Yeah, because they're now the named Aether sprites aren't allowed. But uh, someone showed me that they're running Ahsoka, Barris. Plo and Obi-Wan mm -hmm. and I was like well you just have everybody supporting everybody I've, like eventually you just keep throwing force at every mm -hmm. attack or defense and it works out I, so. I think support is a wonderful archetype uh, to run um, like and every ship can be support in its own way uh, you know even like Hawks and stuff like that like Kanan sees a lot mm -hmm. of play uh, we saw a lot of Lando uh, escape craft here this oh, weekend yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. just a, a great piece to bring nowadays. Yeah, I mean, the, the Shock T is as good as the coordinate. Mm -hmm. Better if they're coordinating purple evades. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I've been saying, actually, that uh, with the amount of action efficiency uh, lists are getting these days, like especially with the Heratani, mm -hmm. right, uh, that we're actually moving away from action efficiency and moving towards debuffing. Moving towards what? I'm sorry. Debuffs. Like mm. uh, false transponder codes being very popular. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you're flying old T and Paylob. Mm -hmm. And Balls Transponder <laughs> Codes. <laughs> and balls right, I was right. actually originally on Latch for my list just because I was like going to start throwing people on rocks and stuff. Right. I was not going to let anybody have any fun at this tournament. No, no fun. I, didn't, I saw a lot of medium bases and I couldn't track or anybody. So yeah, um, yeah. What are you, yeah, what are you going to do against? My, my thinking going into this tournament was uh, you want to check off as many of these boxes as you can. Um, and my three for this particular meta, and it's just a broad statement, so, you know, uh, it's uh, you want to bring a reinforce, uh, white or red. Sure. Uh, you want to bring token stacking. Uh, or just, you know, multiple. Like, uh, the ability to get a lot of actions. Right? Token stacking is a big thing. Uh, uh, you want to bring token stacking uh, in whatever way you can. Um, for yeah, me, I was, for me, I was using Kamut. I was using Moldy Crow, stuff like that. Uh, I had reinforce on my Bosk. And then you want to bring some sort of jam option, right, right. for those opposing reinforces, for those proton rockets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, like, if you want to check off as many of those boxes as possible, it doesn't mean you need to check all three. Right. Uh, but the more you check, the seem, it seems better to me. Makes sense. Personally. So I was able to check all three. Unfortunately, Imperials didn't offer me anything outside of a swarm. Right. But they had, they had token no. stacking with Barons. Barons. A lot of yeah. agility and you have tokens. I mean, Discipline's token stacking, right? Yeah. And those are those are a lot of mods, too. Um, stuff like that, right? Tracers are good because it gives target locks to all your ships. Which, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. When someone described, would you take a weapons disable to coordinate everybody on your team in the engagement phase? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I would. Twice. Um, so actually, uh, I got a question for you, Duncan. Who do you think the extra time benefits? Because hmm. it, it does give I Ryan more it, time I, to kill Zam. I think it benefits uh, Andrew, but okay. not by a lot. Right? Okay. He's got Zam, a great endgame piece, but also like she's just hard to kill. Look at that, dude. Like the treacherous, the longer it's around, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But also, Grievous is a fantastic endgame piece. These Jedi would have a hard time. Like, even if it's down to two Jedi versus Grievous, those Jedi are going to have a hard time killing Grievous. Because Grievous will has, do damage to him. He does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, he has potentially up to 11 hull, like if he pulls direct hits and stuff oh, like yeah. that. With that, um, Paul, Paul gave me like an eye roll when I said 11 hull on Grievous. I was sure. like, it's I possible. have pulled the double direct, though. Like you're like, direct, nope, direct, nope. Yeah, no, Ooh, it feels I great. Saved four feels damage. great. Uh, that's that's impervium plating right there, um, and uh, oh, Sam hasn't moved yet. Ooh, looks like we're going in for the going for the three pronged attack here. He's gonna try to knock off the false transponder codes. Boom! Okay. There she is. Did he have it? Yeah, he had the it's rock. A, it false transponder codes is good, but once people learn how to play against it, it gets a little less good. Um, luckily with Zam crew and the condition when you get attacked, it's a may take a target lock. Mm -hmm. So like multiple times we can have get attacked and just like I'll take the charge. I don't want the target lock yet. Uh, uh, yeah, we saw. Or uh, I was talking to Jackson and he was running five Zs with false transponder codes, mm -hmm. and Zam just jousted him. He's like, I'm gonna strip all of those false transponder codes. It's. I mean, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, and then hopefully had Gamut in the list to make him keep those five jams. No. No, <laughs> right? No, because they stripped the lock every time. Oh, yeah, wow. With the conditioning card. Oh, wow. Z shot at him. Oh he says, God. I'll acquire lock in oh you. You jam it off. That's hilarious. Next Z shoots. was like, I'm going to lock you then, too. Yeah, so I think False Strength of is one of the things that we might actually just see less of it played um, as the feature goes on. Like con We saw a lot of contraband cybernetics around here. I've been saying that too. Like the the difference between a three point contraband and a two a point. False two point no, no, no. Because uh, uh, contraband was two points for a long time. You slap yeah. it on whatever. Everybody's got red moves. Yeah. You're gonna do a red move once a game, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I'm closing betting. We're getting we're getting too close to combat now. Interesting. That's a pretty even bet too. What do we got here? Yeah, got 86 to 71 in yeah, favor of Stanislavski. Going for Ryan, the home team. Well, actually, uh, Andrew's from Texas, isn't he? So he's technically the home team, but this he's is the Gold Squadron podcast. Home team, yeah. Do they both have home field advantage? Maybe. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Dang it. I forgot to ask Wade what planet that was. Um, what planet this is? Yeah, on the map. It's Yavin. It is Yavin? It is Yavin from uh, Star Wars Squadrons. Oh. Yavin 4. 
Right, and they're flying through the, the gas, gas yeah. giant. I thought it was Bespin for a second. Yeah, it's the gas giant. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 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 The Rebel home base is in the background on that planet, I think. Wow. Yeah, that... It's very pretty. It's very pretty in person. Uh, I like the print of it. I should have gotten way to sign it, and I forgot it's at my hotel. Mm. <laughs> Hate to see it. Uh, uh, yeah. it, it does have um, Rebels on it, so I don't know about that. But I, I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, LVO version hosted by the Fly Better podcast um, mm -hmm. that has the Imperial side of it. Oh. I think they're mirrored. So, oh, so you pan the Imperials you will be going left. Oh, okay. And you can put them together for an Armada map, which would be really cool. That sounds awesome. And I like mats with good guys on it, so we'll see about LVO. We should probably pay attention to what they're doing. Did they're jacking for a position. I mean... Did he just put Grievous behind that gas cloud? Interesting. Is he going to hit it? I mean, he barrel rolled in front of it, so... Barrel rolled in front of it. Very interesting. Everyone's arguing about 120 versus 75. I don't. Sure. No. I, d I don't think I I, we've ever seen games go that long to 120, right? I have. Oh, sure, you can, right? In the format no one wants to play. <laughs> In the, for the format that shall not be named. <laughs> We were sitting there making an extended list a second ago. We were just like, "Oh my god, this is terrible!" Um, cause, like, if you if you center an extended list around Cutthroat, there's some scary things you can do, which I will not name on this podcast because <laughs> I don't want to see it. Uh, um, we were just sitting there. I have been saying since March that Cutthroat was the better ability, overshadowed by Disciplined. I think it's more and effective. If, but if, also, if, as the game progresses. Mm -hmm. it, there's more you can do with it, but you have to now AMG will have to design around that card created by FFT, which is very interesting, right? right. If they create illicits, they or any upgrade that has a non-rechargeable charge, that's right, non-recurring charge. Non that's how it works. They have to think about cutthroat. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you could always bump cutthroat up to two. What was that? You could always increase the price of cutthroat. If you I want. actually have a theory about this, which we've been talking about this weekend, and I would love to hear the uh, chat's input about my idea on game balance. Okay, go for it. We still got a, we still got a round or two we, here. We still got a lot of time. We haven't even talked about the game yet. <laughs> the Grievous behind a rock. They're, they're, they're jacking Someone for position. thermal detonators. They're fine. Um, I think upgrades that are better when spammed should have an, a cost increase for each occurrence that you bring. Okay. So Juke was fine at four, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could bring four ju phantoms with Juke, which was terrible. Right? That was a good list. The phantoms weren't the problem. However, yeah. if you make Juke cost four for one... If you bring two of them, they each cost five. If you bring three of them, they each cost six. Is just an example. And now you're not just spamming upgrades that are the most efficient, right? Mm -hmm. Dedicated. Not dedicated. Disciplined. Mm -hmm. Bring one, it costs one. Cool. Bring two. Because I had a list that I had, like, fair off with uh, disciplined and nothing else uh, sure. when I was practicing for this. But, like, if you bring two, they cost two each. If you bring three, they cost three each. So you start finding the point at which... Um, you have to find the point at which it's most efficient for you to bring because now you've brought three disciplines and it costs nine points or whatever. It, these, these aren't concrete, yeah. right? Juke, selfless, um, disciplined, like stuff like that. I feel okay. like it should cost more the more you bring. And that it could sense. even further down the road, but it would complicate things, be applied to chassis, right? Um, mm, so you, people okay. don't just spam the most efficient chassis, right? Looking at the top cut from a New Zealand tournament that was taking place this weekend, okay. of the top four, all of them had at repeat chassis, right? There was a four Baron Nash Wampa. There was a four K Wing. There was a seven Cartel Spacers. And there was a, I can't remember what the other one was. I think it was like a bunch of arcs and something, okay. right? Imagine those chassis. If you brought one, it cost the set amount. If you brought two, they started increasing in price. If you got, now you're not mm. spamming uh, a lot of, now you're just not, you know, spamming all the most efficient chassis you can find. Right. You mix, like for Imperials now. You don't can't bring six Barons. You could bring one Baron or maybe two if that's the most efficient. You could bring a Striker, a TIE X1, and like Nat, and like make okay. somehow find a way to make it work. I just think it would it could be an interesting design I, space to explore. I am with you on that. I think uh, that variable pricing, that they're underutilizing it. Yes, they 100%. Could un they could un and I think the thought process is that they're holding back because they don't want to overcomplicate the game. Mm -hmm. But we all use electronic squad builders anyways. Yeah. No one's out there print out PDFs in a calculator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? So, if, I mean, if we're in, they're promoting a squad builder yeah. website. So, like, 
variable price everything. I want things that are like a like a grid where like I want like if your initiative is this and your agility is this. Mm -hmm. That's the price sure. of the upgrade. And yeah, we use variable squad builders. Like the community ones are, are really good and they could make it work. Mm -hmm. Let me put this back on so I'm not screaming into the mic. Okay. <laughs> um, it was just an idea. I know people are arguing. Um, I'm not trying to get rid of swarms. Like you could make things exempt. You could even further complicate and make it exempt, right? Like you could bring four vultures at 20, but once you start bringing past four, that's when they start getting increased in price. Right. You don't have to make it every single chassis. Or whatever. Yes, it's complicated, but we already play a very complicated game, <laughs> right? Yeah, um, yeah, I agree. Sure. Like, I just think spamming cards and finding the most efficient card you can bring. Like, how many times have you seen a spoiler, got the points for it, and just mean how many of these can I fit in a two hundred point list? That's literally every time. That's literally every list, right? Like when I saw the everyone's uh, like, oh, I can't fit three ghosts in a list or something like that because it's sixty seven points. Yeah. I'm so mad or whatever it is, right? Like there's a lot of sixty seven points. There's a lot of sixty seven point lists. This could there's actually bring those in. Ships. This could bring that down, mm -hmm. right? I don't know. It's it's just an idea. I'm not a game designer. Like I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert. He is he running away? Yeah, he hard threed over the debris there. Interesting. If he takes a crit here, we'll see. Ah, oh, no consequence. No consequence, Cloud. <laughs> um, but yeah, but, but yeah, I, I fully agree. Like I want like multiple variations for points. I want uh, like you said, I want variable pricings for pilots. As well, yeah, it could just be interesting. Like uh, a good example that's not a generic is a fearsome predator. One fearsome predator should be cheaper mm -hmm. than running the third yeah. fearsome predator. Like crack shot, I think people can agree. When spammed, that upgrade is amazing. Mm -hmm. Same with like juke and selfless and stuff like right. that. Like, well, anything that. Uh, Better when spammed, right? Right. You could have them be priced into competitive play where you will play one, maybe two, mm -hmm. but definitely not to spam it on every ship you can bring. I mean, I always thought like crack I'm a trick shot. shot. Like I'm a crack trick shot blackout fan, you know. Crack shot is a great example of that. I want like a grid because it should be based off of how much your attack dice is and what initiative you are. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Because it's not, it's like an I-1, 2 attack dice ship should not pay the same amount as an I-6, 3 attack dice ship mm. for crack shot. Sure, sure, sure. What do you think of Ryan's list replacing a Pred OB with one of the knights? How much does Pred OB cost? Is that the same as the, uh, the thing um, or does he lose some of the bit? It's 51 because he's 49. Is it Pred Annie? Or, uh, sorry, Predator Obi. I'm sorry. Yeah, Predator Obi Wan. Because I've seen it. Uh, Predator Obi Wan replacing Shock. Um, I was in the same. As you noticed, Ryan and I are wearing the same shirt. <laughs> okay, so yeah. we have been in discussions with this for a little while. I think in this meta, we all agree that we wanted to start our lists bidding at 197. Makes sense. And that, so you build up to 197. There, there is no 198, 199, 200 list. He needs to underbid Barons. Barons runs at 198. Honestly, if I were running Barons, I would have cut the disciplined off the Tracer ones to be at 196. Yeah. If I had brought All it to this tournament fair, fair. to underbid the people who cut one disciplined or okay. and underbid the people who are underbidding me. That's what I would have done. <laughs> I would have played 12 D chess. Um, well, I mean, Pred Obi could saw, be good. Uh, um, that's why we saw the triple Adas go to 12 because yeah, I was um, talking. Oh a my lot God. of the Zam Jangos were going to 11. 11. Yeah, I talked to, uh, to Kevin Lyons, the, the, quote, uh, the inventor of the list, um, <laughs> and he was on like 199 telling me I don't need to bid. Uh, I'll just outfly my opponents. And I'm like, dude, they drop bombs after you reposition in the system phase. And he's like, yeah, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I'm like, have you played it? He's like, no, I'll play it this weekend. <laughs> he comes I'm back sure and like, dude, I lost game. 10 games in a row. <laughs> Zam goes busted. It should not exist. Uh, and yeah, I'm like, sure, I mean, I'm I sure. agree, but they're not going to do anything about it before Texas. That's like two weeks away. He's like, I'm going to bid to 12. And I was like, what if you get underbid? He's like, ah, oh, whatever. So he bid to 12. And he, like, you know, he, he underbid all the Zam goes he played. Okay. I think he beat one. Did we, we did close out the betting. Okay, just oh, double yeah. checking. Just cool. double checking because we actually got some shots coming in. A very even game. We're shooting. Oh, shooting, 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 shooting. Shoot. I mean, Stanny, it's Stanny soulless Grievous, I believe. gas cloud, so like. Yeah, yeah, gas, yeah. yeah. Safe. That one might not be a gas cloud, do we know? We'll see. We'll see on the defensive roll. Oh, big money. Uh oh. Uh, oh, he's oh, got a reroll. No. He's got a reroll. Oh, no. Well, if it rerolls to a blank, you can still change it, right? If it's yeah, destructed? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, you hate to see that. Oh, no. Oh, two, no. two shields. He could bro. not cloud? Could not cloud. He could not cloud. 
right? He yeah. had yeah. a he had a what a six out of eight chance to roll a blank or evade and then change it to an evade from the cloud with the that's right? yeah that's He's four eyeballs and one evade. Yeah, he he had a really good, he had really good odds there. Wow, and Stanley deals two to Grievous, big big, and those were crits into the shields, not into the impervium plating. Mm -hmm. So it actually matters. Which is um, weird to say, but and the droid, I think he's been bait. I think Andrew's been baiting just a little bit too long, right? So the droid does have a good four straight into combat. The one at the top right, mm -hmm. but the other droid is out of combat, and Zam looks out of combat this turn. Mm -hmm. Like this coming turn, see, she this, does like a I don't, rip. I don't like how the uh, Zam and Grievous are in the same corner. Oh, uh, because you, it's don't, you don't like that they're in the same corner. Yeah, because they're easy to track. It looks like a three sloop fit. Uh, oh, definitely three sloop. I'm looking at the table right now. A three sloop definitely clears on Grievous, but that's that's going to be rough because he won't get any rerolls. I think he needs to keep that cloud cover. A one hard from Zam. Bank mm, yeah, boost Zam can might cut fit. down. Yeah. And then if you just two hard the droid over there and you do you try a four pronged attack, um, it's not great. I think if Blue, Delta Seven, and Shock threaten that droid and just get a free twenty, that's free big. Twenty points, that's big. man. He's, like the list does not the, the beauty of this list that he's playing is it doesn't need to be tethered, right? No, but they're all individual be, right? ships. He was I think he was in range of red red delta, but he didn't need to give it tokens. These things have potentially a force and a token nonetheless. And he's doing a good job of uh, protecting Shock T, the, the the linchpin of the list. Yeah, I mean you're support until you need to roll in protractor. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, people. They love you. I try. I mean, I'm no Dion, but, you know, I try. But also, congrats to Dion if he hears this. He got his Masters this weekend, right? He, and his he wife? did. Yeah. Um, he uh, he's still got one paper, so he's still got homework. But yeah, how hard it's is just to write history. A paper? Well, the, yeah, one history paper is a lot easier than, like, the uh, like orchestra composition he had to do for his thesis. Dankmaster, we don't know what his plan is. He does have a multi-pronged attack coming in. He may have just delayed just a little bit too long. These Jedi can cover a lot of ground in one turn between a, a boost barrel roll. They do have double reposition. Well, they're taking the center of the board as well. Hmm? They're taking the center of the board. Mm -hmm. So they can... And they can knife fight really well. Yeah. Uh, you can even hit that rock if you wanted. I don't think he would, but he could. Too early to risks. Uh, Og Blaha. What? I'm squinting to read the name. Uh, got in that six-month subscription. Thanks, everybody who's been able to uh, contribute. Uh, I think it's OG us. Blaha. OG Blaha? That makes more sense. Uh, there it is. Yeah, he corrected you. You got it right. Uh, thanks for everybody's support here. I was through with the Prime. If you got an Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. get into Twitch gaming. Get a free subscription. Steal that money from Jeff Bezos. Fund that rocket fuel. <laughs> well, um, if you're already paying for Amazon nah, Prime, true, true, like true, get, true. get all of what you can out of it. Um, Ali, I don't know if you've played an in-person tournament recently. Oh, my God. It is so tiring. I can see the appeal, a little bit of TTS sitting in front of your, uh, sitting in front of your computer you know, or couch, whatever you want to do, sure. and being able to get up and Bed. stretch and walk around and <laughs> lay on your couch and all that stuff. Here, my back hurts. My legs hurt. My ankles hurt. I'm standing for like... These tables are lower than what they should be. These too. are a marathon, okay? <laughs> I recommend compression socks uh, for these tournaments. It may look goofy, but we're not here to look good. <laughs> there was a guy over there dressed like Director Krennic earlier. Yeah. Uh, Get one of those foam mats as well. Hmm? Get fancy. Throw it on a foam mat. Oh, yeah. Stand on it. Do you Welcome you to getting old. I am only about to be 29, sir. But my body is You're falling young. apart. Huh? Young. It's a young man's game. There were two people under 21 in the cut. Ugh, it that is. I knew of. Wow. I was playing X Wing before you were born. X Wing does <laughs> it does favor the tall, but it also hurts the tall. It does. It does. I can't. Uh, Zima, Teak. You and Ryan with the reading, okay? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Point to me. Point. I can't. I can't. Let me scroll up a little bit. Zima Teak. Yeah, Zima Teak. See, I got that one right. Just yeah, that was right. Right. Okay. Um, Just realized I'm Duncan okay. getting married means you finally have an empress. She will be glad to hear that, unless that is her Twitch username, which would be weird. <laughs> she just subliminal messaging it yeah, to you. Yeah, right. 
All right. Well, we've almost used up the extra time. Okay. Allowed by the... Uh, and there has been some damage in that extra time, but mostly jockeying for position. Uh, he, he triggered the false transponders earlier, right? Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm so right. him shooting at Zam here and potentially, like, that yellow shooting at Zam right here is actually probably the right move. Grievous turned. Oh, Grievous did the sleep. Interesting. Yeah, he's got it. Unobstructed. Range three. Hmm. I think I would have been a little more aggressive with these two here. Reroll. No. Range three. Take one. Shoot off yellow. Probably didn't want to over Blood. Especially if Zam came down here. Mm -hmm. You go too far that way. Yeah, you go too far that way. But you don't want to look at Zam yet. You want to no, try to kill Zam. Don't look Zam at, don't look Your at strategy them. is to kill Zam or not kill Zam. I mean, you look at her a lot, or you don't look at her at all. This so is that a, was Shock T, I think, looks yeah, like a range primary. three. It's the only no, person. did she patience? She might have. No, she didn't. I think she just took the range three. No point in tractor beaming for no damage. You just try the long shot for damage. Um, one thing I have noticed watching Ryan play this game um, is not a lot of using the chassis ability of Shock T. The system phase reposition. You don't, need to. Hey, you don't need to, but it's pretty good. You can get an occasional block in here. Like if he did a, uh, you know, like a boost right, he might be able to block that droid or boost forward or something like that. Talon roll. Be pretty good. Ooh, big money, big money. From uh, Yellow Delta into Zam. Let's see what Zam does. Force. Takes one. What is the condition? What is the trap guard? I mean, it's got to be free lock. Get a target lock. Yeah, get a target lock on that Delta 7. So now. Okay, and droid into range 3. Is, is that range? Yeah, range. I don't know if I like any of those shots from that droid. Are they going to do any damage? They hey, might. Hey, that is. Spend the evade, spend the force. Yeah. Turns no out, damage. Turns out double mods is good. Double mods is good. Turns nah, out. Nah, you know what? Triple's the new double, by the way. You know what I'm talking about. Focus lock, Greedo. <laughs> focus lock, double reinforce, Greedo. Double focus, double reinforce, target lock. <laughs> and then Turok just steals it. I had one of those. Someone was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bailout's all greens. I'm like, no, he's focused and evades. And he's like, Turok's, uh, Turok's focused and evades. I'm like, no, he's all he's all greens. Like, it's the opposite that you're thinking. Uh, and he rolled up with that. I explained every single card on my list to the man. He rolls up with Bosk. I put Turok right there. And he had double focus, double reinforce. And I eminent, I eminent domained him. I said, whatever green you earned is now mine. <laughs> Capitalism, baby. Right. Well, Hard earned. Oh, man. Uh, Paylob can't steal. Paylob and Genesis Red can't steal. Calculates and reinforces, though, right? Genesis? Yeah, I think Genesis is only focus of aid. Oh, Turok? Or, sorry. Gen what? Genesis, Genesis is the... Red. Is Genesis focus is focuses and evades, yeah. And Paylob so, is focuses and evades. Yeah. I did have a Genesis target lock, my uh, three focused Moldy Crow. I was considering a list that was Genesis and Paylob, and you just target lock your own, uh, target yeah. lock your own hawk, right? Uh, you you pretty, can do it. Just yeah, like, good. like I was uh, saying to Paul, like you just slap an eye and can you can, on Genesis. If it's Gamut as well in the hawk, right? You can like just keep all the tokens you keep getting. Yeah, you, you keep so your good. tokens. You're good. <laughs> Give me that evade, baby. All right. Put stealth device and cutthroat on it. So you keep getting stealth device back. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Back to the game at hand. So. Uh, Someone did mention you uh, a reply to your comment about design space for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they already have uh, you cannot recover this charge text on upgrades. Yes, yes, they do. So they could um, they could put that yes, on. They could put that on there. Yeah, as like a, uh, a as a fail safe button, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I think right here, Stanny probably turns at Grievous. And then Sam should probably just do the three bank, right? You got to utilize that back arc instead of getting blocked by these deltas, which is huge. Or he might just turn that Jedi right. The delta. Like I, said, like, I don't like. I said I don't like. I've actually never seen oh, Andrew it, put it. his Grievous and Sam so close together. I don't like that either. It's the two best parts of your list. You got to keep them apart. And the classic trap: putting a fire spray in a corner is bad. Is it hourglass? Did he, did he 12 the d chess him here? Like, I would have done the three bank with Zam. But Andrew might have seen that coming and did the two hard left, which I, uh, doesn't look like it clears either. It actually looks like the three bank clears. He could hard one out. Like, you just away? Yeah, then I you're mean, in the corner. Yeah, the, yeah. You're safe. You're still in the corner, though. That's not where you want to be. You're safe, though. Uh, 
You already got the lock. Focus Actually, the three bank looks really bad here. Holy, oh, my God. Yeah. That's why I don't play Zam. <laughs> I actually was on Zam Grievous and, like, whatever. I think it was 404 for a little while. Right. Uh, and I was running up to this event because Dank 1 Probe Droids are really good versus False Transponders. Yeah, weird. Yeah, it turns out. Uh, <laughs> wasn't good in the Zamgo matchup nonetheless. I played Zamgo for, like, two games. I had no business winning those games. I played so poorly. But it's such a good list. Yeah. I mean, there we go. Get out from behind that gas cloud. If it... The fire spray chassis is just good as long as you're utilizing the mm, rear arcs, arcs, the boost, and the bombs. You rarely, you rarely do things that aren't uh, boost or target locks with that with the Zamgo, I think. Right? Like, I mean, he has rockets here, so he can focus. Occasionally focus. Oh wow! Look at that kill box. Look at that kill box, baby. Like you boost out of one of those, maybe two, but you're in the delta. You're in the blue arc, and you have to boost. Oh, wow. Good God! Get out of there. Stanny's still stone cold. Stone cold Stanny. I want to call him that. Can you call him that? <laughs> you think I'm 16? Or that or Zeus. I like Zeus. That's right. Stanizewski. Stanizewski. Bring in the thunder. <laughs> Ozgal saying, oh, no, I got blocked. I only have Force Treacherous. Uh, no big deal. Uh, I mean, a block is a block is a block. Yeah. Wow. And free lock for my ability, you know, blah, blah, blah. I think yeah. you just barrel roll. You think you get a bullseye on that droid. You might arc dodge something. Yeah, buddy. The angle is hard. You're right. What's up? The angle is very hard to watch this game, like to judge what's going to Yeah, play. I mean, just just <laughs> yeah. the amount it shrinks at the yeah. top. Do you think he fires the tractor beam at that droid to push it into Blue's arc, or do you think Blue just like shoots at Grievous? Oh, you're right, he did a one hard, but why are you in the corner? Now you have nowhere to go. You have thermals. Thermals. But St Stanny did a great job avoiding thermals. He didn't get hit by one thermal last game from really? Zango. I know, I miss, I'm sad we didn't see that game. Um, um, the two sloop looks like from yellow next turn, looks like it gets out of that. Like, he's, okay, range one into the delta. He's. He is looking at Zam. Shazam might get like a bonus attack on someone this turn. Nope. Dice cam. Dice cam. Wow. Big shot. Big shot. Oh, no. Yellow's down a shield already, too. One, hit, two. hit. There's a crit into the hall. Oh, Flex. Ryan hasn't got his damage deck out yet. <laughs> <laughs> he was so confident. <laughs> I'm not going to need this. He might not be dead if it's a direct. Weapon, Weapon fail. Yeah, it doesn't even have a shot this turn. So I think you just yeet. Is, can I say yeet? You can I say you yeet. on out of there next turn. Fix that weapon failure. Um, Grievous is Grievous is stressed, right? He did a boost. Focus? Oh, there's the stress. I look like it was on the Delta. Sorry. Okay. I think Delta does have him. Blue Delta does have him in arc, yeah. so Grievous gets no rerolls, but still three die focus shot. Ooh. No Save that focus yeah. for the he defense. He can't spend. All right. I just chunky. noticed that that Jedi has two focus tokens oh, oh, as well. It's a bullseye. He did have Predator on the list previously, by the way. He did have Predator, and I think we cut it for the 197. It was a, and then it was a toss-up between Patience Predator. Patience yeah. has been really good. Wasn't Bullseye? Oh, he has a Deplete. Who did he take a Deplete from? Patience. Patience. Because he spent the Force last round, mm. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Maybe he did a uh, system phase reposition. Well, I took it to play. Now he just relieved it. He's trying to get up back up to, to one force. Now he'll get to two at the end of the turn. Or just have it on the the defense, which is nice. Patience is a really good call. Really good call. Okay. I mean, we've seen the, the FO interceptors Ooh, do well yeah. with depletes. So, like. They do well with jams, I thought. No, oh, the they, they take depletes. Oh, for sorry. We're, we're not talking about the new spoiled cards. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. We're talking about the, uh, the uh, barons. barons. The barons. I call them barons. That's not. They're BAs, but yeah. Yeah. They've been doing fine oh. with it. Fargalock? Nice. Pays off. No problem. I think he shot. This was from uh, red at the bottom shooting up to mm, Sam. Okay, okay, okay. That's where he got the lock from. He spent the focus to dodge it all. Yeah. 
because he used the force on offense. Okay. Didn't need treacherous. Oh, yeah, treacherous. The droid. The hero droid. I'm very familiar with hero droids with weapon fails doing damage. <laughs> Even though it doesn't have weapon fail. Okay, range three-ish into that guy. Did he take the shot at Shakti? Range yeah, two. The, the droids have been doing work. Uh, last round, a one health droid ate a range one boss shot. So, worth, wow. worth 20 points. Okay, he's going to calculate. Can't save it. Can't take it with you. Takes the damage. Hero droid. Two focuses. <laughs> it's still damn opting damage. not to attack back. Weird. Did he? No. Keeping your focus by spending a force. Going, staying a one force on Shakti. Clear your tokens. Yeah, I think for the first time in X-wing, in phase is actually really important. It's like cleanup, it's huge. <laughs> There's more and the timing too. I had to actually look up a lot of the timing events uh, coming well, back they, in X-wing. They just yeah, it took them seven years to get in phase timing finally. Got it right. All right, because oh, we have man. so many triggers about when when are circular tokens removed? When do force charges come back? So, so I think this should be a really interesting turn here because I think. Shakti might be in a little bit of trouble, right? With the droids just turning on, on her, right? She could just, like, zoom on out of there. Like, with a five-straight, yeah, five right? Yeah, yeah. But, like, you'll get caught by Grievous doing the two-bank, maybe. You could reposition Shock, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what's really tempting, which I think Stanley should think about, is the turn on Grievous and tractor him onto the rock. But I think... What's gonna what we're gonna see here from Grievous is a two bank mm, left Chuck barrel roll to second. spread your arc. Huh? Chuck T shoots second. Yeah. And he can yeah. rotate. That, that's the, I mean that was the bit you and I were having about mm -hmm. taking versus passing. Right. Um, and I think passing is the right call. Uh, passing initiative from Stanley to Andrew. Uh, if I were uh, Shock T, I'd probably just like five straight out of here. Um, and then see what you need to do, like token up. Yeah, if because you passed initiative, you can save Shakti for the end game to fight mm -hmm. Grievous one on one. Yeah. Yeah, Shakti could take Grievous on one on one in the end game. Grievous is an amazing end game piece. Um. All these degenerates betting over here. Look at that. I like bookies. Like bookies? All the all the bookies bidding over here on the outcome of the match. You oh. and I have bid too, so. Well, one. I like how we just exchanged our coins. <laughs> yeah, Blue can, Blue can block Grievous pretty easily here with like a two straight or like a one bank or something like that, anything. Um, to be fair, I'm at about a 90% uh, loss rate on betting outcomes, oh so I God. purposely bet on Andrew. Interesting. I think our damage on Grievous is correct. Would you like me to check that? Or can I send my minion Paul Heaver? I don't think Grievous has any damage cards. I think he have, I think Blue shot Zam and Zam dodged the shot. I do see a damage card over there. I don't there. see any damage cards. Oh, I'll, yell, I'll ask Paul. Yeah. Okay. I mean, somebody, somebody did. Um, messenger boy Paul Heber has done nothing else in his life except for uh, deliver us X-wing information. Uh, and just told us there we was need, a damage card. We need card his expert Grievous. opinion. Um, what's up? The chat. I was gonna bring it up. Oh yes, oh. chat. Chat. Because I clicked, I clicked something. What's this is the most interesting list? list I've seen this weekend. I faced an elite TIE defender. Really? Vader? No. Well, he's not hyperspace legal, dude. Oh. Granted, I don't know if I would have said anything seeing an elite TIE defender. I would have been like, okay, whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're bold. So Onyx. He was in the X1 bracket. Uh, it was an Onyx uh, with that. He had Vermeil and Gideon Dell in the TIE fighters, which is pretty good. Okay. Um, I don't know why you don't bring, change some upgrades around. I would have brought an Onyx with Juke to supplement Vermeil's jam. 
yes. and he had Death Troopers too. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you just fire the Tie Fighters last for the extra dice. Um, sure. I also, the round after that, still in the X1 bracket, saw Ten Num, Braylon, and Kanan Ghost. I did. I wanted that on stream, but I could never catch it. I, I did table it. That was my first 2.0 table, which was <laughs> making me feel really bad. Because uh, he got real tunnel vision. But uh, yeah, the Elite Tie Defender was probably hawk. the most interesting thing I saw this weekend. Hmm. Okay. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, he should have killed your hawk. Huh? With all that firepower between the B-Wings and the Ghost, he should have killed him. I should have taken some damage. Turns out Jam is really good. Yeah, that's fair. And they didn't have any, like, Cassian stuff to do where they could just, like, remove stress and, and whatnot. All right, so Yellow got out of there and fixed the weapons failure. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Good job, Yellow. Come back around another time. He's not threatened this turn unless, yeah, there's no way, like, Zam can get it. him in combat, so fix the weapon fail. No, go go kill a jet or go kill a vulture on your. Uh, just stay away from mm -hmm. the other ships that can initiative kill you. Yeah, Ali. That's uh, I was talking to D this morning. He's uh, about my opinions on hyperspace, and I like the list building challenge. I don't like how it favors factions. It with the squad packs, I think it favors the original three. And separatists because they need they have Zam. That's it. That's all I care. Right. Fair. Um, but people were telling me like leading up to this like oh hyperspace is solved it's all this and or all that and I'm like there was a it was a really diverse event. I think uh, we did see a good amount of scum representation because I think that the people who didn't want to like to spam barons and people who found Zam go boring like I did, um, like brought Bosk because it's mm -hmm. a good piece and it's been hyped up over the last month and a half. I was on Bosk like since like the, uh, I was on Latch versus Bosk uh, since like the squad packs came yeah, out. Yeah, I don't, and I I don't like, think you could claim Hyperspace is solved when, no. you're, when you're running uh, Ulti and Paylob and other people are running uh, Days Bone Arm and Tell with their boss. Like. It, it depends on how you argue, right? If you're like, oh my God, the someone hit something. Oh, bomb. There was a bomb. That's red. Um, if you're like, oh, hyperspace scum is all hawks um, and YV six six six, I'm like, okay, and fangs slash jump masters, I'm like, okay, well that if you make your statement broad enough, you will be right. <laughs> right. Two of eight. Agreed. Seasons. Agreed. Right. I, I think mean, that's a very, it's a very, after... I have like thirty hyperspace lists sitting in my launch bay next app mm -hmm. that I want to try, and it was nice to like do that over the winter when there was no events to practice for right. to like just like play Pover Drive, right? Like that was fun. I'm taking it to an event, but that's a tractor beam shock T. Just gonna uh -huh. keep her two force. She town rolled. This hyper isn't great. I think the squad packs kind of messed it up a little bit. Ooh. Ouch! Is that blue into the droid? Oh, droid lives. Droid lives at one. Red lives. Me and Tipper yeah, were talking about sides. one health droid. Or a droid who could take two shots is the best droid. Yeah. What if they take all the shots? Well, they rarely survive the third <laughs> no. one. Sometimes. If they have buddies. Yeah. Okay. More shots. Uh, Grievous gets a reroll. Nothing. Take one. Face time damage cards and Grievous are the best. Yes. Just regular Just hits. Keep rolling please. hits. I actually faced a Grievous. Uh, no, I didn't face a Grievous. I saw someone facing a Grievous. And I was like, you just don't. You might not tr change it to a crit. No, you can't change it to a crit. I, someone had already rolled natural crit and didn't Greedo the other crit. So they could just like not give Grievous face-up cards. He still... All right, looks like uh, one of them took one. Which one? He still split the crit, though. You can split one crit, but if you got oh, two crits. Oh, the second if crit. If you're really good. Uh, okay, yeah, you yeah. rolled full natties. One of these guys took one, I think. Lost a shield. Do we get that? Yeah, that's red. One. Red's down in another shield. He has some yellow, red, yeah, yeah, blue. Yeah. Mm, nice, nice, nice. Oh, I see that. Okay. NW Vader. Even more subs. Man, too kind to us, NW Vader. 222. Ow. Calculate. Boom. Force. Turns out force is good. Of course, it's good. What's that stress doing all over here? The board is a little bit chaotic. Um, you are, you will see two types of players at these tournaments. 
uh, ones who take Enphase seriously and the ones yeah, who don't. I think pa before Paul had a template tray, he was like all over the place. Uh, uh, my uh, templates always look like this. Oh, uh, I'd so like to put them back in my case. I keep everything organized. <laughs> Uh, they, like they just Zach don't. and Chris, when you play them, they are all over the place. I'm like, why is there a calculate sitting in this corner of the board? Why is there a deplete here? I'm like, who has what, dude? And I'm like, I take, can't. Take one look at Marcel's like, game I might something. He's got half a bag, a, an open bag of dice, half spilled out, all templates oh on God. the table. Are you talking Nathan? Because uh, Nathan does that too. No, I'm talking uh, Marcel. But oh yeah, Nathan's just as sloppy. Two types of players, I swear. Higher space is not a format, it's a ban list. Okay. That's I'm not incorrect. There is a lot of stuff you can do in Extended, which I don't like. It's just like, it's harder to curate. And there's some scary stuff sitting in my Launch Bay app that, like, when someone's like, do you want to play Extended? I'm like, oh, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. <laughs> How would you like to never shoot? Supernatural? I was like... He was playing I was playing Supernatural Aces, and I was like, if you can score any points on me, you can have the game. I don't care. It just, it oh, just, like it Supernatural like Jedi? Huh? Supernatural, yeah, Supernatural Jedi. Jedi. It's like, you know what's really good in Extended? If you take Sense and Supernatural Reflexes on Yoda, because it's super cheap. You just, what's your dial? Okay, I'll be there. Yeah? What's your dial? Mm, okay, I'll be there. I know. I had a, 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 my first experience with Supernatural. Extreme. Was that on the Gold Squadron's team versus Marcel? Was that you? What? A little while ago, like uh, Supernatural Kylo and Von Rick. Marcel was playing it, I think. Marcel flew it uh, at the showdown, yeah. Mm -hmm. It went out against me. But, uh, yeah, I had Marcel, to. Marcel, you flew it up to, after the game. Um, <laughs> after the game. Uh, I got to try out uh, Extreme Maneuvers, Supernatural, Rebel, Ahsoka. Oh, my God. And it's just pick your ship up and put it wherever. Like. Price that card out of existence, please. I mean, 24 and 32 points on ships who actually care about it. Yeah, I mean, I just told you Yoda. It's like 12 points on Yoda, dude. Eight, uh, it's eight points. Eight, yeah, sorry, eight with sense. So, it's, oh, sorry, it's 13 total for those mm. two upgrades because he has two force upgrades. What's your dial? Infinite blocks. Yeah. I mean, I like him on... Uh, I've flown a lot of Supernatural Inquisitors. Yeah, they are, they are really link. good. Because you trade the force token, which is a calculate, for a focus token. Which is an upgrade. Yeah. And if you do it on them, you actually trade it for two tokens, right? Because then you, you get boost the focus, clear the stress, take an evade. And, mm -hmm. and wouldn't it be a shame if Jen didn't give you a free lock long ago? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have fire control system too. Weird. Because my <laughs> chassis is so cheap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Turns out I uh, just token stack him. Like Supernatural Grand Inquisitor with like Collision Detector and you just bring gas clouds. It's like really scary. I was amazed by someone brought like Advanced Sensors Rexler and then Supernatural Advanced Sensors Grand Inquisitor. Good luck. At least Advanced Sensors means you can't full throttle. That's helpful. You don't need the evade if you're arc dodging. Yeah, you just take the evade previously. Or you wouldn't get no. the abate if you got blocked barrel anyways. Roll. He did it. He used it. The pre-move barrel roll. Nice. Yeah, but good luck blocking Rexler's 4K if he has advanced sensors. Yeah. Hmm. That was the whole deal when people were like, why doesn't Vader have a sensor slot? And I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> Let me tell you. Boy, I will show you. <laughs> Bend the rules to allow me a one-ship list and I'll show you. <laughs> Oh, no. All right. I don't think we've actually even commented on this game. <laughs> we're commenting on <laughs> A little game. bit. I mean, that was a long planning phase because there's, like, we're... we're it like, was a very long planning phase. This, this is, is most of the here. scrum you're going to um, see in this Grievous matchup. Because Grievous easily bite it this turn. Pop. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. And Watching I think, droids drop. Uh, right. And I All think, right. Yellow is running away, doing stuff. Whose target lock is that on him? Is that Sam from, like, a while ago? Probably. Probably. Just conserve the 25 points. 24? Yeah, 24. Okay, fine-tune control, barrel roll. Grievous is probably doing a sloop to the left. Stanny seeing if this barrel roll cuts it. I think it does, like back. It's pretty easy. I mean, I put you in the range two tether of Shakti as well. No, it's barrel rolling to kill the droid. 
the Jedi can play the game again. He can pick and also like, use him as a bait shot. Like, oh, do you want the 25 when you put yourself in a bad scenario? Yeah, it's like, uh, like Biggs just running in to jump on the grenade at the very last mm -hmm. second. There's something to be said for that. Like, I mean, um, I actually, there were a lot of games like this weekend where I didn't even use Paylob's ability. I didn't bring Paylob's ability to use it. I used it to force people into poor decision making where they would take target locks instead of focuses and they like then Bosk would just be the hammer right there because they don't have any defensive mods and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Yeah. Also, fun fact, Protector Gleb, when you coordinate, can pass a target lock, which is fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's just, true. Oh, you're going to really hurt uh, Payload this turn. I'm just going to pass that target lock over to someone who's out of arc. I mean, I've seen it used on uh, Han. Hmm? Uh, Gleb on Han mm. to actually pass locks and do good yeah. stuff like that. Good barrel roll there. There, there. Is it the sloop the other uh, way? They're marking him off. He yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, the sloop the other way. Oh, no, three bank. He's hungry for shock. He just needs to get away from those Jedi. By the way, we're calling this list shock three, everybody. Shock three. <laughs> it sounds like shock T, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> uh, hey, my clan gaming. Uh, is there Mycene. price support? What? Mycenaean gaming, probably. Oh, is is the that one? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought it was just a little spec on the L. I thought it was um, an L two for like my clan. Yeah, I thought it was my clan. Um, what's the prize payout? What's the prize payout? It was all unofficial. Nothing from um, FFG, or sorry, AMG on this. Mm -hmm. um, but they do have these light up trophies, which these look light up amazing. trophies created by uh, Curled Paw Creatives. Uh, <laughs> Our sponsor for the day. Is he sponsored? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I, just, I saw District Foundry in the corner. Yeah. Um, TPC. Check him out. Anyway. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gr uh, Grievous ran away. Yeah, Grievous He's said. Still, I mean, I think he just light up this droid this turn, depending on what Shock T does. If Shock T kills, I can't even see that rock anymore under all those giant tokens. Um, anyway, prizes. Uh, top two, um, you get a trophy and a runner-up trophy top mm -hmm. four you get this beautiful mat we're looking at which can al also be purchased nice. top eight was templates and range rulers provided mm -hmm. by the fly better podcast i think about that for a second fly right. better podcast yeah they um, were that a uh the weird board that showed the yeah the, the board from map. hoth right. i think that um it, you know the, the dude is just like touching like, things and nothing moves. I, I um <laughs> yeah so that was pretty cool um they look great it looks great uh let's see and top 16 was uh, Ghosts in Your Dice uh, Deplete and Strain Tokens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And top 32, I don't really think had anything. There were top of faction prizes. Yeah, there was well. faction prizes that uh, Dion and you got, um, gave away. Dials, dial covers. That's right, the I was, top, I was one of the top, I was the top scum my day, my day so I got a fire spray dial cover. Nice. So it goes well with my other fire spray dial. I got a chorus out. I could run two fire sprays. Nice. If I wanted to. Neither of which are scum, by the way. <laughs> two, two separate <laughs> ones. All right, what do we do? What do we do here? Uh oh. One shield on. Uh, this is shields two, on two shields. blue. Yeah, that was the that was the zam shot. Oh, zam shot. Okay, so now it's shock because Grievous doesn't have a shot. Yeah. Shock can kill this droid. Which yeah, they're gonna. Good. Nope. Wait, hit no mark. I oh, know he does. He was okay. just checking. He was checking bullseye. bullseye. Okay. Ooh, big money, big money, big money. Okay, one of eight in the box. Spend the calculate to not die. Yellow is the one. No, yellow hasn't taken any damage. Well, it's about to. No, it did not. It it dodged that. Time. No, I mean it's it, about to. The delta. There's a, does there's the delta go for one. Grievous? Like a range? That's a pretty juicy range. Okay, you shoot take with the shot first. Else. You shoot the yeah. shot there. Oh. Reroll. Spend focus. Ooh. Okay, so you take a crit, which might get thrown away with impervium plating. What was the crit? Could you put the crit in the box? They're doing it. Wounded, Wounded pilot. Oh, it's a pilot crit. So impervium plating is fantastic because 75% um, of the damage deck is ship mm -hmm. crits, including direct hits. There's, there's awful direct hits and fuel leaks, right? Everything's yeah. a ship. Yep. Um, well, not everything, but okay, all those this are. one doesn't do anything. <gasps> Another damage. 
on Grievous. He shot Grievous. Okay, Grievous is a one, I believe. Maybe he just took another damage and did that. I think he took one. I don't know what that was. Who shoots two dice? Paul. Paul's not paying attention. Takes a crit. Fuel leak. I think he's what he said. Put it in the box. Fuel, Fuel leak on red. But they're still betting over there every single turn. Yeah, I think Grievous isn't one. I think he took a dam face down damage card in there. I will double check. Would you like me to go check? Yeah, just take a look at it. Okay. Hand me, I hand will me take a gander. Hand me your thing so it doesn't hit the table. Thank you. Grievous is at one with both charges of impervian plating up because he has not drawn a ship crit yet. That's so a very frail Grievous. You don't want to rely so on that four kind of cards RNG. On him? He has four cards on him. And a wounded pilot, so if he tries to fix it, he might take stress. And he's stressed, so he can't even turn around. This is a huge opportunity um, for Stanny to take that out. Although yeah. Andrew is in the lead, but we do have 60 minutes left in the game. Yeah, plenty of time. Plenty of time. I think the variant, I, don't, I haven't noticed any variants in particular, one way or the other. Mm. Everyone's had mods. Everyone, everyone, I mean. So it's hard you, to tell. Unless you go back after and do calculations, whatever. Everyone's got you. Turns out, if you don't have mods, your dice look bad. Mm -hmm. That's why you bring jam. Right. <laughs> and no one can fire rockets at you. Also, we have to wonder if Stanny is still thinking about said rockets. Because Sam is in a pretty good position to roll up and do some rocket shots. That's not something you can forget about a five die shot from Zam at range two. Nope. Um, do you think yellow tries to take on that droid there, just like with a one hard? Yeah, like one hard figured it, out. I would take the pur mm, do you take the purple evade or just the focus? And you have a force. Probably. He's not. Yellow is not being threatened by any other part of Andrew's list right now. So I would have no issue turning and potentially putting the last. He could initiative kill that red drone. Yeah. The target lock is not purple in these ones, right? That's purple in the Adas. You could take a target lock. Yeah, just target that's lock. That's huge. Well, it depends if he's got to reposition, honestly. Um, one hard, you shouldn't have to reposition almost any maneuver that droid does unless the droid runs off. But I think the droid's going to try a two-bank to try to get a shot or a three-bank or something. You don't want to let Stanny reposition out of your arc with a double reposition, though. Yeah. So you got to play it safe. It could hard three, bear roll, hard two next round come back around yeah I mean Zam is healthy but we talked about earlier you either like go for Zam you look at Zam or you don't look at Zam mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do you use your mirrored shield <laughs> <laughs> right like although Stanny is behind in points the board state shows me that he is not behind I don't know what do you think Will I mean, I've already factored in that he has twenty point or er, uh, thirty more points from the droids, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but that's just me. Yeah. Ryan's still stone cold. Not be waking up from a nap. He has not made a single facial expression this game. <laughs> no, no, stone cold. I like it. Try playing secret Hitler with that man. It's hard. <laughs> he was actually Hitler. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, Andrew has a win condition. Like, they both have win conditions right now. Like, yes. I wouldn't count anybody out of this fight. No, 100%. I don't think the barrel roll fits there with that droid. So, Shock, do you have the one hard to keep going after Grievous? Two bank here. One, one straight. 1K. Oh, 1K. Oh, so, yeah, the Delta has a free... A free shot here if he turns if he turns left. If he did, I would have turned left. Does Stanny turn left though? Okay. He thing. might not want to because of Zam going ship right. Like hard sure. Ship right, right. But you're one hard, then you just one hard away again next turn, right? Like I don't yeah, think dude. Zam. If you're a Zam player and you're on the other corner of that Delta, you don't go for that Delta. When you have nothing else. I mean, no. I think 
No, no. He's one bank. They're doing a one bank to the left, obviously. So that Delta 7, the yellow one, is completely safe right now. To mm-hmm. do the one hard uh, boost target lock, probably? Or, like, do you think you take the... Is it better to... Oh, God, math. I forgot all my X-Wing math. Is it better to stay at range 3 with a target lock? If and, if, they, and a calculate. If, or boost into range 2? Uh, it depends on how... If your opponent has modifiers. If he's... If he doesn't have modifiers like this, you might as well let him roll the third dice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that droid's a one. That's a risky 1k right there. I would have just, like, put pressure on the Delta, but, like, that droid wasn't in a good position. Regardless. He's counting on the fact that I think the, he, ooh, the Delta I don't know. Is red? Red's pretty healthy, so that's not bad if Sam does a one bank and just, like, sucks a range one shot. You mean bracket. A bracket. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's gotten so quiet in here. Mm-hmm. Really, you got a whisper. Okay. That might be an arc dodge there. No, oh, we forgot to move the delta. Oh, he did it. I'm mad, man. Ryan and I think alike. Oh, right, he barrel rolled, tries to fix the. Or Barrel rolled rolls for the wounded pilot. Now he can link his action. But does he want to get double stress? He took the target lock. Yeah, target lock force, man. Turns out it's two miles better than it's one. It's happening. All right. Yeah, so so he barrel rolled. I think he's out of arc. He's not trying to fix. He rolled for wounded pilot. Didn't get Didn't get a hit. And does want to risk the double stress. Didn't roll stress. it in the dice box. Even though um, somebody was telling me that they're both added to the queue, your linked action and the wounded pilot. Oh. But I, th- I thought uh, Wounded Pilot would be a game effect before your player effect. I thought you had to do one action, then the other. But, you know, I'm not a judge. I'm not a judge I just play this game. I actually didn't know how jam worked when I rolled into this tournament with multiple ships that jam. <laughs> Someone jammed me, and he's like, you get to trick, right? I'm like, I don't know, maybe. I hope so. That is not a bump. That's a rocket jam, baby. Rocket jam on board. Let's go. It's, you can't yeah, stand the rocket was coming. So quiet in here. The only thing I can hear is Ryan talking. Yeah. Everyone's silent. The Barons have stopped playing whatever game they were playing. Everyone's gathered around the table betting with crate coin. Let's go. Rocket, baby. Oh, no. Okay, Dooku crit. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, no. Okay, so bad on both sides. That is not the Fuel League one. He has shields. Direct. He got the direct. <laughs> They're still betting on whatever happens. I cannot believe that. Under average Procket into a killing uh, a Delta 7. Yep. Worth the five. Every time. Actually, I, I really hate paying for the fifth dice. I don't know. Paying for the what? Fifth dice at range one. That was shock into the droid who might just die. Dead droid. Did we take the delta off the board? That was that was shock. Oh, right. Shooting. Yeah, right. No, I'm saying did we take red off the board? You did. Yeah. Red's dead. Red, this red equals died too. dead. Both reds are dead. Whoa. Ryan's that range one into that droid. <laughs> to the all Ryan, paint. Ryan with big dice. Okay, let's see what the crit is. Could have aided us from this droid. This droids are really annoying. You invest so much to kill 20 points. Yeah, this is the second shot on this droid, so. Did that die roll over here? Uh, Ryan got it. Ryan got did it. I find it? All right, they did. What was the crit? Was it damage engine? We're talking about. Yeah, we'll what, find out. Well, that's the crit. One second. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. What was the crit on the droid? Oh. 
Oh, here it is. We have it. Stunned. Stunned pilot. Oh, he can't hit rocks. No, the, I think the, the one hard clears. The one right in front of him. That's what they were discussing about hard one. That mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, the one hard clears. It's a lot easier than you think. Man, it's silent in here. So we can turn off this. I still want to fix the shadow on the dice box. That's cool. I like that. Well, this is fantastic. I pretty much only just use this button, but, <laughs> you know. You can put other things on there. People checking who they bet on. Yeah, the droid rolled two of AIDS into a four. Like I said, it's a big investment to try to kill 20 points, which is my pro problem with droids. That's two shots it's taken now. It's going to take a third. Mm. That's all you're looking for, right? Hmm? Can you just eat three shots, Vulture, before you die? Yeah. I mean, Grievous is still under a lot of pressure. And Shock is full. Uh, you should not discount Shock because she has three dice with an evade token all the time and two fours. Yeah, Blue's in a rough spot. And Prockets is gone. You, it's hard to overwhelm that three die of eight double fours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am not counting standing out. There's a lot of time left in this game. Yeah, so to answer the question, the extra time is helping Ryan. Yes. The question from earlier. I think earlier I said it would help. Um, it would help Andrew a little more than Ryan. No, because you have time to mess with that point fortress. Oh, of do the beautiful two sloop, baby. Do the two sloop on that on, on that delta. I don't think you do. I think you put pressure on. Uh, can we dropped some thermals earlier, didn't we? We got that. I don't think oh, you ever. You don't have a counter thermal. on your thermals. Okay. No, we don't do counters. It. I don't like it. Rebel players say they live on bad odds when they just token stack and extend it. <laughs> FTC, target lock, blah, blah, blah. Cool. No, I shipped it a long time ago. Hmm? About an hour ago. Oh, uh, not false transponder codes. No, he already fine triggered that earlier. Fine-tune controls, which is the same FTC. Oh, fine-tune. Sorry. FTC. A lot of FTCs are in here. Get your FTCs. Wow. Too hard cleared, baby. Get them. Barrel roll out of arc. Take a focus. I don't know if Zam is a she. Do we have that confirmed? It's a changeling. changeling. <laughs> Jinx, Whatever you want. You owe me a drink later. <laughs> I still have so much alcohol left over from this trip. Oh, jeez. Because we, we drank a lot of it, but also everyone brought everything. I think I I had like seven beers the other day. We were deep into Secret Hitler and Age of Sue. Yeah, we heard. You heard? You could hear us <laughs> all over there on the other end of the convention hall? Yeah, they're like, like wow, x is really heating up. I was like, no. No, that's that's Age of Sue over there. We would have played it on stream for you, Top 4. Mm. I can't believe you never played. Uh, not Sue, no. Okay, give us boost out of arc. I think it's a talent roll. Oh, you try for Wounded Pilot. That apparently, is a purple talent. Roll in the dice cam. Of course, Andrew made the right 50-50. That's why he's here on the final table. <laughs> you don't get here by making bad decisions. So blue. Yo, tractor beam the Zam. <laughs> tractor beam. Uh, yeah, so put her on that. Put her on that debris. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that fuel leak is still active. On who? So Dooku the crit. Fuel leak is active on blue. Oh no. Taking a second to think about patience. Yeah. Is two force down after the talent roll? Standing reminding me about the fuel leak. Dooku, Dooku the, the crit. crit. There is a crit, but there's a chance to dodge it. Hatties, baby. Hatties. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Crit and a hit, and he dies. Oh, unfortunate. rough. That's rough, buddy. Yeah, one health Grievous flying around, too. I don't think it matters if Zam has Bullseye anymore. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Yes, he does have Bullseye on Zam. It's not hard to Bullseye large base ships and medium base ships. Uh, 
Ouch. I didn't see my name. What does that mean? Ah, uh, there's a reply to something else. Okay. Oh, oh they're replying. Uh, Nobby asked who I'm with. No. I haven't heard your voice in so long. No, I'm usually on this table. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> but not today. <laughs> I got I, I got cannibalized by more scum players. Yeah. The damage deck is cruel. Yeah. How I took many, a, I took a, I took a damage engine and panic pilot on Ultra Rock in the same turn. I was like, oh, Correct. that's a terrible succession to have. How many blinded and uh, blinded, weapons blinded failures? On boss? Yeah, it feels getting? real bad. But it was blinded weapon fail. Yeah. Like, oh. Because, well, I feel like Vosk always gets those crits, but honestly, those are the only crits he really cares about. Yeah. Everything. It's sad when a ship's it's like, like, yes, direct, not blinded. <laughs> yes. I have so much haul to take, please. <laughs> That's, yeah, let's see. Got one hard right clear. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be painful. Four K from Zam. Hmm. Four K. One hard right, right? Doesn't that clear? It's hard to tell with the angle, but like one hard right is like really good. Like it's turned. Oh back. yeah, he's got the little notch at the big. But also, you right? have the back arc, so you can just like one bank away. And like have your thermals threatening threatening him. So. Yeah, be a turret. Be a turret. <laughs> what a strong chassis the fire spray is. That's a word to describe it. Strong. Strong chassis. Top tier. I like it. One of my favorite looking ships. I know. It's I don't mind when chassis are iconic, strong. It's iconic, so right? it should be good. I think like, um, one of the devs was talking. We could talk, was talking about like, hey, you have to like. You have to make characters that, that are pe people's favorite iconic characters good, right? Like Luke. It was, it was Alex Davey. Alex, yeah. That was Alex. Okay. I didn't want to like, misquote anybody. But, like, yeah, Luke. Well, I Vader. think they've all said it, to be honest yeah. with you. Because, yeah, well, they they remember the times when Darth Vader was bad mm -hmm. between Wave 1 and Raider. And then he became really good. No, but, now, no, but he should be good. Yeah, I agree. Everyone's saying there's not much he can do against a full Zam. Like, he's still a token stacking three agility ship. You'd be surprised. It's not great. But it, there's stuff you can do. Yeah, I'm going to play around with the points. We'll see if... Uh... Just bomb your own droid. Ryan has I think a two you point actually point. measure from the other side of Zam. Because it looks like it's range two to Shakti's right side. No, oh, second the target lock. Target lock. And focus. Of course. All right, here it is. Oh, God. Oh, Shock no. Shock first the world. Shock T. Let's go. That was terrible. Ryan, I don't think Ryan's gotten double evade on any defensive role that wasn't mm. Shock T. They are sharing dice, right? I mean, you can't. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I think yeah. I started sharing dice a lot more, even uh, even in COVID. Uh, <laughs> but um, sharing dice is a good way to uh, that's kind of mitigate earn, you think your dice trust. effect. Hmm? Uh, I always took it as like a trust building exercise. Mm -hmm. That like when you're like, no, these are my dice. You can't roll them. <laughs> Does he kill the droid? All right. That? Oh, he tractored it. Tractored it onto the rock. Yes, queen. No, no. No, oh, well, never mind. <laughs> oh, he scooped. Ryan scooped. Yeah, bombs. Yeah, that's harsh. That's harsh. Good game. That was a good game, though. Um, I mean, bombs. I mean, if you turn away, Grievous uh, is now behind you. Mm. Yeah. So, it's rough. 
All right. That was game. Ryan conceded. <sighs> oh, Ryan. Had such Andrew, good... a local, has won the Lone Star Open. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.